Welcome back guys, we're back in with another tutorial today and we're going to be going over how to enable and disable whitelisting, how to add and remove players from your whitelist and by that I mean a list that people are only allowed to access your server if they've been added on. Um, so even if they get your IP and port they won't be able to connect to your server unless you've actually added them to this list first. And another neat little trick with it is that you can um, take off player limits so if you've got admin or mods that need to be able to log on no matter what the limit you can also change it with this. So to do this you head on over to your multicraft control panel and you go over to files then just click the config files just underneath and then head over to your server settings now if you scroll down a bit you're going to notice that it's got white listing here and it's got enable or disabled now if you want this feature to be enabled you simply got to click enabled here if you want to disable it you're going to click disabled once you're done just hit save on the file and hit restart to restart your server so now you've got a whitelisted server but you actually want to add some players to play on your server you can do this through your control panel or of course in game as well first of all we're just going to show it through the control panel and you head over to console here and you can just type in the chat bar white list add um, and I'm just going to add myself as well it should say that I'm already in the list uh, but I'll do it just for an example so whitelist add and then the player name and hit send as you can see on the bottom of the screen there, it says player already in whitelist because I've already whitelisted myself. Now, if you want to remove a player from the whitelist, then what I'll do is I'll use an example for my second account and also as an example as a name with spaces in, so you've got to do it slightly differently. If it's got no spaces, you type it in just like I did previously. If it's got spaces, we'll type it in like it is now. So to remove, we do whitelist remove. Um, and then if it's got no spaces in the name, you just do it just like normal. So JDog131131. However, my other account does have a space in the name. Uh, so what we do is we start it with a quotation mark. Um, we do JDog the first 419. And then we close it with a quotation mark. So this now means that it's going to recognize this as one gamer tag rather than trying to recognize it as three separate words. So now we hit send and you're going to see on the bottom of the screen there, player removed from whitelist. Now if I try and log in with my other account, it's just going to tell me that I'm not whitelisted and it's just not going to allow me to join. And the same if I add again, it will just add me to the list. So this way you can always add and remove as easily as that from your console. And as you might have noticed before, if you head on over to your files and conf config files, you're also going to have a folder called whitelisted players here once you do enable it. If you click on this, it's going to give you a list of all players um, in a big sort of line or sentence going to the right. Um, and if you want to ignore player limits now, so let's say if you've got some players that are actually mods on your server or admin, so you don't you want them to be able to come in even if there is more than, let's say, 20 players, uh, just to be able to make sure. Um, if you see here, it says ignore player limit false, um, you can change that to true or false. After that, just hit save and then restart your server again. And if you actually want to do it in game if, and you've got cheats enabled, all you got to do is go onto your chat bar, put forward slash, and then type in exactly the same. So whitelist add or whitelist remove um, and you can add any players this way so again space and jdog131 131 that would now add me to the server if i've got cheats enabled in the actual server itself if not you're gonna have to go do it for your con uh, for your console so i hope that's helped guys you can keep your servers uh, nice and safe potentially from people just trying to log on uh, that you don't know for more videos like this don't forget to check seeker host knowledge space and also my channel thanks for watching bye bye